I have to ask, and I, I'm not sure if I should be asking Chris or John, Nyan, probably both of you, yeah. um, because I'm going back to Article 11, the Lafayette Road Sewer Project. <coughs> that was explained to us, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> that was explained to us, um, if, and Chris, if I'm wrong, please correct me, that you were going to dig up the and replace the sewer pipes that you had coordinated, I believe, with um, with the uh, gas company, and they were going to replace the gas pipes. Is that water. correct? Or was it water? water. Okay, water then. Um, because the point that I, I'm wondering about is that we're you're going to if this if Warren Article 11 passes, then you are going to proceed to um, start digging up and replacing. And the only thing I'm concerned about, I guess my question is, is now to John Nyan, is that um, it's going to be all done at the same time. For instance, we're not going to dig this road up, change the pipes and stuff, and then a year or two from now you get these grants and we dig the road up again to bury um, uh, telephone lines and electric lines. Am I correct in saying that it will all happen at the same time? Well, yes, but let me clarify what same time means. Yeah. Okay, please. Um, the discussions that we've had with Aquarian Water is that they could move forward this spring of 17 and yeah. uh, replace the water lines. A little louder, Chris. Uh, replace the water lines. And by the way, I did watch this from my office, and 99% uh, of you, we can hear, we can even hear uh, Jamie Sullivan when he stood in the middle. Um, he does not need a microphone. But anyhow, um, so the water, we would proceed this spring of 17. I would look to uh, proceed with a construction contract, uh, have it in place for uh, the sewer replacement in the fall of 17, after pretty much the seafood festival, because they don't really want to be the one to disrupt the summer community down there. Um, it would be in the summer of 18 that we would look to uh, the gas company could do any work that they may have to do and then we would uh, also follow up with the drainage we get done that and there isn't going to be much in the way of pavement left so i was looking at the fall of 18 to uh, resurface the road full width mm -hmm. realign any catch basins i needed to uh, have realigned and, and also do any sidewalk improvements and it has been mentioned that you know it would be nice to continue the lighting theme at least one similar to what was done down a through f streets down at the beach all in favor of that when you know and i have to say that i as a public works director i'm very very pleased to see a, a private public partnership um sometimes we we, I won't say we operate in a void, but we do what we think is right. And it's nice in this instance, uh, Experience Hampton's been very, um, they, they do what they say they're going to do. And um, they represent a, a large portion of the uh, business community. And if it's the business community and, the, and therefore the taxpayers directly or indirectly that want this done, then we're more than happy to do it. And I would, as, as you've said, only like to be in there once and be done with it. I, I don't want to be putting uh, years after years of people through pain. So if I can get this done in two construction seasons, I'd definitely like to do it. And, and that comes back to why this Warren article. I have the design money for the sewer. I don't have to spend any design money uh, for the water. Um, drainage is... Uh, water runs downhill it, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure that out uh, we've kind of got the basins you know we, we have grades that we have to work off of I have additional uh, drainage issues down there to improve on but it, it's it's relatively straightforward what isn't straightforward is how to make that streetscape how to make it a complete street how to make it more livable more walkable more without at the same time making you know an obstruction to traffic and that's where experience hampton comes in um, it takes a while to get all that uh, in place and then to, to be able to consider that and through the construction process i wouldn't have the time or the staff to do that 
and, and do it justice and have it come out something that everyone would be really pleased with. Um, so that's where Experience Hampton comes in and that's where why they put up a portion of the funds and um, all they did is consult us on the, the framework or the wording of the ordinance and, and I kind of knew it was coming forward. But uh, so, it, so it doesn't run over my toes, it doesn't um, double engineer or double design anything. Matter of fact, it, it's, a, it's a very complementary component and I would hope that everyone would see it that way. Yeah. Thank you. An additional question would be, um, this isn't going to change the intersection um, at High Street <coughs> and Lafayette or the intersection at Winnicunnet and Lafayette. In not, any way. not the geometric portion. Not, so not the at all. Matter of fact, okay. Just uh, the, the work, road in between. Right at the okay. south end, we cease. We drew a line between Dana's Towing and um, the gas station. Uh, well, not really the gas station. We're just a shade north of that, the Kenny Bunk yeah, yeah. project. Okay. And mm -hmm. um, although when we do, we are on the north end at High. We did. We have one utility pole that we want to address mm -hmm. on High um, that we keep clipping with the snow plow. Um, and we're looking probably to find a way to backfeed that through the high street lot. So, yeah. yeah so that that's about the scope. Yeah. And when they put the uh, when they put the electric under the in conduits under the ground, and then it's up to each uh, building owner to bring it into the into their building. Is There's a uh, probably a 200 page volume of PUC rules that addresses that. Mm -hmm. um, it has to do with the size of the load, whether it's commercial, non-commercial. Um, the project, when we design, is going to, I would think, pick up 100% of that cost. In other words, not burden the individual property owners with, you know, um, for instance, uh, having to move a meter uh, and, and then pay for it. And, you know, the, we look to work that out with Unitil, and that's why one of the suggestions is let's see if we can feed the buildings from the backside, i.e., down from the high street parking lot versus, let's say, digging up the park and the sidewalk. So they're, they're, they've done this before. I mean, we're not the first uh, chicken on the road. Um, Concord's done it. Um, Laconia's done a portion, a number of other communities. So there's ways of uh, doing it uh, reasonably uh, with less pain and, and cost-effectively, too. Yeah, because not everybody, every everything along that area, not everything is commercial. Is it Correct. Least, There's a lot of residential. Yeah, yeah residential right. as right. well. So yeah, definitely. So that you're figuring to um, that'll be included, putting them online. Yes, definitely. Okay, I understand completely. I think, Chris. Thank you very much. Yeah.